everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to use web sockets in native ios application with swift if you are curious about how to use socket io i have already created a video on that so in this uh, video we will be looking into web sockets and i have a web app also running using web sockets and i have ios app using the ios simulator if you want you can use two ios simulator as well um, that also works uh, other thing is that uh, if you are curious about how I created this web app, I have also made a video on this as well. So first I have this input like first is username. So I'll enter some uh, username Rohit and second is room uh, room name. Uh, you can enter any room name, whatever you feel like. I'll enter T. I'll click on submit and here you can see Rohit joined T. Now here inside my web app, I will enter Rahul and I'll enter the same room name because I, I want to I want these two to chat with each other right so i'll click on submit so here you can see rahul joint t and if i open my ios simulator i also get this notification uh, rahul joint t now i will send some high message from my ios simulator here you can see it is uh, it got sent to the web app as well now i'll send some message from our uh, from our uh, web app as well and if i click on submit here you can see i have got it on my uh, ios simulator as well now suppose i i am uh, completely closing the tab of our web app then also we get a message that okay rahul left t okay so yeah let's see how to do this so firstly i'll show you uh, how i have uh, done this uh, inside my uh, web application uh, inside our backend so i'll first explain you guys uh, the black backend logic for it i'm using node.js but you can use whatever you feel like uh, firstly you will have to create uh, install node.js on your pc then you will have to create this package.json to create this file you can just cre create a folder and go to terminal cd to that particular folder and then just run npm in it dash y uh, you can create this file manually as well just copy paste this and here you will have to add this to if you are created using npm init dash y because this is our entry point index.js then you will have to install these two dependency express and express dash ws just do npm install express npm install express dash ws then you will have to go to index.js and here you can see that i have created a uh, express so i have uh, imported express i have created an app for it i have also imported chat user then here we are wrapping our app using uh, express dash ws and then we are uh, listening for a url slash chat and this is our room name so this room name is dynamic you can enter whatever you feel like so in our app we enter tea right but you can enter coffee whatever makes sense to you whatever room name you want to give so once we get the room name we are creating a chat user out of it but do look at the first parameter we are sending this wh.send is a function we are sending this function as a parameter to chat user and wh.send helps us to send messages from server to the client and we will be using this send a message send function inside our chat user and we are also sending our room name then this uh, thing is called like on message is called whenever we receive a message from client to the server side and then once we receive some data we just call the handle message inside our uh, application then is the close part uh, so as i so, uh, sh shown you right uh, when i close the web app i get a message on my ios simulator as well so here i am just calling user dot handle close again i will show you that function in a bit and here we are just starting our server on localhost colon 3001 uh, next going to chat user dot js so we are importing room dot js which i will come back to in a bit and here i have created one chat user which takes the send function and the room name so here we are just calling the get method from our room.js which i will come back to in a bit and the name of the user is null for the very start and this send method will be called from room.js as well so it internally calls this dot underscore send and this dot underscore send is assigned to send which is wh dot send from index.js which we send right and for handle join like whenever a user joins uh, we are sending a message from client to server which in turns uh, which the server in turn send to all the connected clients like to the web or to the ios simulator or to the android client whatever it is so here we are assigning this this dot name uh, to whatever name has been passed 
then we call this join method which i will show you in a bit this is present in room.js same for broadcast as well and the type we are sending it as a note and the text is uh, whatever okay this type and text would be useful for us if you want you can send it in a form of string as well that's fine but that then you will have to handle uh, in that way inside your native ios part as well then is the handle chat uh, again now for this handle chat like there is some bug i am couldn't really figure it out so the handle join is called as soon as a user join connects to our web socket right so this dot name is initialized and i'm printing it as well but for handle chat like whenever you send a message a uh, normal message inside your in text field and click on submit this dot name becomes null i don't know why uh, but yeah it isn't working and here again i am calling the broadcast method as well also even though it becomes null over here when i call this uh, handle close this dot name is again set properly again this is a bug i don't know why it is happening so anyways so we are just broadcasting a message whenever one user sends message we are broadcasting to all the connected clients to our web socket next is handle message so here it's basically like depending on what data type you pass from uh, data dot type you pass from your client so if it is join then call handle join so this will call if it is chat then call handle chat um, if you can add more um, switch cases as well but i'll keep it up to this then for handle close like whenever we close the uh, tab of the web uh, web tab uh, then this gets called and here we are first checking if a user with this name exist inside our room or not if yes then call the leave as well as the broadcast method of our uh, room class and here don't forget this model dot export chat user now coming back to room dot js here we are first creating a map for all the rooms now you can save it inside your database as well so here is a classroom so this get method what it does is that it takes a room name and if a room is already present then we just return that existing room if not then we create a new room then we create a constructor of room name so here we assign the this dot name equal to room name and whatever members are present inside that particular room we are assigning it to this dot members which is a set then once the join method is called we uh, add this particular member to this set if leave is called we delete that particular member if broadcast is called then this send method if you remember we had defined it in over here so this is by getting called over here so we are basically sending the data to each and every member connected to this particular room this i'm not using get members if you want you can use it and for getting a member by name again this is getting called over here okay so this logic if this you user with this name is put present inside this room or not and here we are just doing module dot exports room uh, next for so firstly i have created a native ios project then i have uh, gone to info dot plist uh, so this info dot plist and i have added this ns transport security this thing entire thing because our node.js app is hosted on localhost http that's why we have to add this then i have created a uh, message class like a struct sorry which is codable because uh, the different types of things which uh, while sending and receiving messages is of type a name and text the, so type and name would be present whenever a user joins the a web socket uh, joins our web socket and uh, type and text would be present whenever user sends a message and receives a message right next i have created this web socket manager class so uh, it takes a url web session web socket task a message uh, received handler a url uh, which is uh, present inside the constructor so while initializing it then we are just doing url session then assigning our web task a uh, web socket task and then calling connect so here we are just calling web socket task dot resume and receive message and once uh, for sending message again we will uh, get the message whatever is present and we just call web socket dot socket task dot send message and send whatever message you, uh, the user wants to for receiving a message once we uh, get the message for that we had created this handler so that i can um, get this message back inside our view controller so once we get the message again we call receive message so we can continue receiving the messages 
so first is our view controller inside this like i have taken two text field and one button uh, like initialized it ns layout constraint stuff and once button is tapped uh, i am just uh, navigating to the second view controller and i am just assigning so this prop uh, variables are present inside second view controller so i'm just assigning whatever you have in, in, entered inside the text field like the name and the room name and navigating to the second view controller so inside main here you can see i have also wrapped our uh, main view controller inside navigation controller to do this you can just click on your view controller editor uh, embed in navigation controller and you will see this okay this is only for navigating from one view controller to other now if you see second view controller uh, here i have uh, imported ui kit i have imported ui table view data source as well as delegate because i want to show all the messages inside a table view and these two uh, name and rooms are initialized from our first view controller while navigating i have created a text field a button as well as a table view and one data list for storing like an array for storing all the messages here we are creating variable for our web socket manager class uh, then here we are just initializing text field button table view adding it to our sub view uh, then adding it as a sub view then doing ns layout constraint stuff and if the room name is present then we are initializing our web socket manager so here you can see we are passing ws this should be your ip address don't copy mine it won't work for you and our node.js app is hosted on localhost uh, like 3001 port that's why i'm using 3001 and if you remember the url was slash chat slash room name so i'm just passing slash chat and this is the room name now if we have a name if the name variable is not null we are creating a message of type join passing the name we are encoding that message because we need to pass it in form of string and then calling websocket manager dot send message so that will uh, get back to the server the server will send it back to all the clients that are connected so to do that we have a message receive handler as well so once we get the message this will get called even while you are submitting a message while entering text inside your text field and clicking on the submit button so once we get that we get it in form of a uh, string we are decoding it to message dot self we are appending it to our array then we are just reloading our table view okay on button tabbed again the same thing only here we are passing name as nil and type is a of type text okay uh, and here we are again encoding it and sending it back to our backend next for table view i have just uh, again normal stuff number of rows in section return table uh, data list dot count and for cell for row at i have just one text label and here i'm just getting the data for that particular a row and i'm initializing it and returning our cell uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching